Good morning, everybody. I'm Colette, the Highway Stitcher, here to give you my stitching from the Highway Inn at home. Uh, today is Tuesday, April 16th. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. This is floss tube number 117. And uh, today's high in Fahrenheit is 46 Celsius. It is 7. Actually, that's not the high. Forgive me on that one. It is actually what the temperature is right now. The high is supposed to go to 62 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius, which is very nice. We've been having lovely weather. Yesterday it was raining, but today it's cleared up again. Um, spring has settled down on us, and unless we get a few days of, of like rainy weather here or there, I think we've got sunshine and nice weather in the 60s and low 70s for the next week and a half or so. So that's totally lovely. I'm looking forward to that. Let's see. Um, I'm going to start out. I, I ended up doing this floss tube earlier than I normally do. I, I've been doing it about every month, but this has been two weeks. And the reason why is because I have so much to show. And I realized if I waited till two weeks from now, it would be way too much. And I might have problems uploading my videos. So that's why I decided, well, I had a minute, you know, a minute, I had a little more than a minute to work on, on this video. So I thought, well, I better do this now and then do another one in a couple weeks. And that's what I prefer to do anyway. And since I've been home and not traveling, hopefully I can do that at least, you know, for a while longer before I start traveling again. So since I have a lot to show you, I'm going to go right into it as soon as I do just one housekeeping item. I've sent out all of my floss tube anniversary gifts or actually giveaways that i did except for one so again i'm going to ask linda craig if she's watching this video contact me this is the santa uh, kit it's like a banner sue hillis banner uh stitcher's days of christmas um you got this in the giveaway and um so i need you to contact me linda if you could and um if nobody contacts if she doesn't contact me by um this week next week i'm going to i mean not next week in two weeks when i get back i'm going to re give this away so um anyway that's just that's just what i have to take care of now so if you hear your name, Linda, and see this, then be aware that I need you to contact me by email. My email will be below, and we can get this shipped off to you. Okay, on to my whips. I don't have any FOs or FFOs, so that's typical me, typical Colette. I mostly stitching, not finishing, and not um, FOing, but I have lots and lots of whips, so going to go in no particular order. So the first one on the pile is Margaretha Schropfer. This is a little band sampler by um, designer Jeanette Douglas. Cute little band sampler. I'm stitching this along with my birthday twinner, Krista. We have the same birthday and we have a hashtag on Instagram if anybody would like to join us. Feel free if you like Jeanette Douglas and you like this little sampler. Don't worry about if it's not your birthday or whatever. Um, we've had people join us on previous birthday, uh, our annual birthday stitches. So feel free to join us if you would like. The hashtag is OCT29SAL, OC29SAL, because that's our birthday. And um, that's what we've been working on. So I did a little work on this. Um, Got 345 stitches. I worked on the bird there, did the bird, this little motif, and the start of that basket that will mimic this basket here. So uh, this is on 40 count needle and flax linen, and the color is Brea. So it's got like a few little, you know, you can see the little color, color breaks in there. So. It's been a pretty color for this. I, I like the combination of um, 
this color and what the colors had been in the floss. And I'm using DMC floss, I believe. I didn't look at the pattern before I came here, but I believe it's a silk floss that she's using. Um, I converted it to DMC and I'm working with that. So, um, what else? That's probably about it on this one. It's It's been fun, it's, one, it's a one over two on 40 count. Um, each motif, each I mean, each little band has been fun to do. I have changed out a little bit of the colors. I believe this one here was supposed to be a lighter color, even than it is there. But I just didn't feel like it was showing up well. So I did a little bit of a darker color. So I have kind of improvised a little bit, added different uh, colors in different places where I don't feel like they're showing up good enough. So that's our birthday stitch. So that's what I worked on one day in the last two weeks. Okay, the next one here on the top is also another sal, sal that I'm the leader of, fearless leader. This is our birdhouse's sal, and uh, the name is right there. And any of you who are familiar with French would be able to pronounce that. Me, I'm not going to attempt it, but you can see what the name is. We call it birdhouses, as you can see, because it's all the bird, different birdhouses on it. Uh, before I show this, um, if anybody's interested in joining us, we have three hashtags for this. We have um, Octa Ox Sal. We also have Birdhouses Sal. And then we also have the actual name, hashtag the actual name Sal. So feel free to Join us using any of those hashtags. We've been doing this about four years now, I believe. We started during Stitch West in Salt Lake City in October, and then we finish it up and show it in October's, the next October Stitch West. That's why it's Octa Oxal. I happened to take this out of the um, few snaps this time, so you can see it a little better than what I've normally normally shown it. I've got this on uh, 25 count uh, vintage country mocha uh, even weave. I am doing it one over one full cross using the DMC um, colors for it. You know how it is with even weave. It just pulls off every little strand just pulls off and I did not surge it like I should have, but I think it'll stay together long enough for me to to stitch the rest of it. Anyway, I'm liking this. I think it looks pretty nice on the fabric and I love um, the fact that it's going to be tiny. So as you can see, we're about halfway done there and um, so it's just going to go over probably to about here. So it's going to be a little small piece and I like the little, I, I love the little petiteness of it. Um, I had to end up using a um, uh, thread for the back stitching because you can see there's a lot of back stitching and when you have one over one with one strand of floss I had to find something a little smaller for the back stitching to show up so I'm using a Guterman's um, size 100 over 3 silk thread and it hasn't really you know doesn't really look too much different than the regular cotton floss thread and I think it's working out good as you can see from the from the different um, back stitching that's in there. So pretty colors in this. So nice. And I'm glad again that I switched out. Uh, uh, right here is different. If you look on the regular pattern, it's a duck. Um, I'm much happier with this um, bird. So much, much happier. So anyway, I think I'm on track. I think I need to work on the next section, but I'm pretty much on track. So better be as as your fearless leader. Anyway, if anybody's interested in joining, feel free to join. It's just coming off in just spades here, guys. Should I keep pulling it off? A little bit of a time. <laughs> anyway, it's good. It's a beautiful piece. So. So that's our birdhouse's cell.
Okay, my next whip is by the Exemplary Design. It's called the Embroideress. This is a stitch that a um, handful of us um, up in the Salt Lake area, um, we get together, you know, once or twice a month and stitch. And we kind of pulled up this. Um, I think Sandra's the one who her first, her first who first mentioned it, and several of us jumped on board. So we are separating this out into um, again into uh, sections so we can get it done in a certain amount of time. We're hoping to finish it in two years. So that's how we are sectioning it out. We started last month at our little small get together. Um, I have to check. I'm not really sure if I'm on point and, and, and uh, caught up or not, but I'm working on the top band. I'm almost to that other side there. As you can see, I'll be going around the corner with the uh, with the border. So that's the total width of my my piece, which is nice to know. Uh, this is being stitched on a 32 count, two over two, uh, luminous fiber arts fabric, and it's in the colorway solo. It's a very subtle, like um, cream color, I would say. And the colors of the floss are over dyed. I did a conversion where we actually, several of us did this conversion. Um, and so that's what I'm using for the colors for it. So anyway, that's the embroideress. If you look up there at the top, you can see the section I did because it was kind of in a different colorway, so it's a little different here. So I'm going to go down the side there, down the side there a little bit, and then do that next band. Really love uh, the picture here of the lady um, doing her embroidery with her daughter, I'm assuming, by her. The little lamb, the house. Just love this area here. This will have some specialty stitches in it, as well as, um, you know, some full coverage there at the bottom. So but I do love it. So it's been fun to stitch so far. Okay, my next piece here on top. Um, I don't have the picture for it. I was gonna print it off and I forgot. So uh, any of you who want to, well, just a minute, I can probably look it up fast. It's Castle Homecoming. And I was going to copy off a uh, copy of it, but Forgot to do it. Okay, that's not it either. Sorry about this. I'm trying to find a completed completed picture of it. And this one just isn't showing it because it just, it's the Frosted Pumpkin site and they just keep showing other stuff. They keep saying, oh, here it is, here it is, but then to, they just want you to buy it. So, Sorry about that. I can't seem to find a good picture of it. But next time I'll show it to you. I've been trying to work on this every month. And uh, so this month I worked on the tree here. This is going to be um, a tree along the side. It's um, pretty much their cell where they uh, do it every year. And this one is a whole bunch of um, a castle and the creatures and the people and the stuff in the castle. So uh, I worked... This last time I worked on the tree, like I said, I outlined it and then filled it in. This will be a face here. This will be a mushroom. And uh, so that's why those they weren't filled in. I did ended up doing 380 stitches on the one day I worked on it because I work on it at least one day a month with a friend. And um, we both try to work on it because we want to get it done. And uh, we want to finish it up. And 
so that's what I got done this time and uh, it's progressing I had been working on Nessie down here this is the Loch Ness monster and uh, some of this but then I moved over here because I could get a lot of fill in done at one time and this is being stitched on a 32 count be stitched me fabric uh, called frost maybe it's winter frost um, but it might just be frost and um, it's with the DMC floss so that's castle homecoming okay the next one here on top I also work on once a month I would like to work on it more because um, it's just beautiful um, so hopefully I'll get some other time to work on it um, each month other than the one day that I do when I video chat with some friends who are working on it this is called Symphony of Friendship by Cottage Garden Samplings uh, absolutely beautiful piece huge though very very large I know it's 300 plus by 300 plus so it's a big piece and will take a long time to do but um, I just adore working on it when I work on it it's just so pretty um, as you can see I've got tons of fabric hanging down here because it's gonna be a big huge piece and I was just working on a little small section of it but um, this is a color and cotton fabric it's called boardwalk it's 40 count as 40 count it's still going to be large um, I really like this color on it that shows it probably really well so you can see that it's just kind of like a maybe a cocoa sort of color and it just picks up those those colors in um, the one flower and the heart I think just are outstanding on this fabric I am doing one thread over two uh, and I'm using um, the called for the DMC and the over dyed threads in it and I started as you can see in the lower left right there so it's the first time I've done that I always start on the upper left or in the middle if it's a um, kit when I'm concerned about how much fabric I've got so this this is a first for me doing it in the lower lower left hand corner but I kind of wanted to I didn't want to go from the top down on this one I wanted to go across the bottom and then start up with the tree um, I just felt more more comfortable to me and so I can go up in the tree start doing the branches and then add uh, the the birds so this piece I work on once a month at least during a video chat and hopefully can pick it up and work on it some of other times too during the month the next piece here that's coming up is was a Whipco call for the month of uh, April I keep losing my voice so that's why I have to keep drinking some water that didn't seem to help much though anyway this was one of the Whipco calls the other one I'll be working on in my plans I'll be telling you about my plans this is spirit of the Southwest I know they really call it let's visit the Southwest but I've kind of nicknamed it spirit of the Southwest just like the title is there on the actual piece this is not one of my typical um, stitches um, one of my friends that I was conversing with last night on a group chat mentioned that she says I'm surprised she says this just doesn't seem typical of you and, and I said no it's not really but but I really love how it's turning out every time I I pick it up or start picking it up I'm not always jazzed to do it um, but once I start working on it and see it take shape then I just love it I'm not a big back stitching person I don't hate back stitching but a piece that has just pretty much all back stitching, which this one does with just a little bit of full cross um, yes is not it's not my cup of tea usually <laughs> I usually complain about it especially on my dimension you know dimension gold kits and that kind of stuff I I just don't like it but this one I I sometimes have to force myself to pick it up it was on my whip go call last month and then it got called again this month but oops almost lost a piece there <laughs> but every time I do and I and I buckle down and work on it I just am amazed at, at it just how just 
comes just starts looking just so beautiful <laughs> just love it this is on a 28 count just two over two picture this plus fabric and it's in the colorway of mellow that probably gets the color you know, let me see yeah that probably picks the color up as as well as i i can show you if you really have to see it in person to really see the true color of it but that's probably the closest i can get it's a little darker than this actually so i'm using the called for dmc's on it i just changed out the fabric that's all and lots and lots of back stitching <laughs> tons of back stitching but it just makes it pop it makes it so beautiful and i've just been loving it just love it so this time what I did, um, oh, and again, I'll mention, if I have any before pictures, they will be put up, be, you know, alongside the other picture, if I have them. And with this one, I, I can't remember. I think I did take a picture, but, um, you know, I can't remember for sure. But what I worked on, if I didn't, and if a picture, does, picture doesn't come up, what I worked on last month was this whole area with all of the um, rocks and all that backstitching and then that. Um, full stitches behind it the blue I'm a little past half so this month what I did is I filled in all of these little round parts here on the dream catcher they all had to be filled in um, I also did I did quite a bit I also did the back stitching on this here from Let's see. From the chili pepper down, so all of the kind of orange I did. And then this little bit of full cross there. And all of that that beautiful like feathers down below the dream catcher. That was that was really fun to do once I got into it. So so it's kind of like I have to get into this. I have to put my brain in backstitch mode and say, hey. Look at what's gonna happen when I stitch this. Look at how it's just gonna pop and just be so beautiful. So uh, once I get into it, I just, I really do enjoy it. And I got um, 544 stitches on this yesterday, just barreling along, enjoying myself. And that's counting back stitches the correct way, where you know I'm not using one one stitch of a back stitch as my um, like a full cross, not at all. So that's, this was a lot of back stitching I did. So the next part I'm going to work on when I get a chance, which will be in a, in a couple weeks, I'll let you know on that, what's going on in plants, but I'm going to start working on what's below this section. Now, those words there, probably, I think that's what I'm going to do because I'm down pretty low here and I got down to this. So I think I'm going to fill these. I'm going to do this next, this section next. And um, just to bring up what I'm going to be doing the first part of May is uh, I'm going to work, I'm going to do uh, Stitch Mania, which is an old, um, it's old now. I think it started in 2015. So that's almost 10 years ago. Um, it's a... Uh, group that used to start new um, start a new project every day in the month of May but you could take it and run with it however you wanted to uh, you could take like you could do a new stitch every day or you could put previous stitches um, from your past stitch manias that you worked on on each day that they were worked on in the previous year you could do all new whatever you want to do. You could do it through the day of this, like this year. Like for example, some people, since it's 2024, they're going to do 24 new stitches or 24 previous whips in May. Uh, or you could do it for the whole month. You could just do it for however long your few pieces are left from your previous stitch manias. So People will take it and run with it all different ways now, especially since it is not an official event anymore um, as of a couple years ago. But I still like doing it, and there's other people who do still enjoy doing it. So on May 1st, I will be uh, working 
on um, my Stitch Mania. And I will have a Stitch Mania video that I do separately to show you the pieces that I will be working on when it gets closer to that date. Okay, on to what else I've been working on. Every Sunday I work on a hashtag. We have a hashtag, um, Amy started it, of Amy Loves Toads. It's called the hashtag Sunday Stocking a Sal. Uh, I was watching Lancashire Stitcher um, a couple days ago and she mentioned that she was doing this and she couldn't remember if it was Stocking Sunday or Sunday Stocking. So um, it's Sunday Stocking Sal. Yeah, Sunday stocking. Even I had to think about it for a minute. <laughs> anyway, um, we've been enjoying working on this on Sundays. And I did work on this the last two Sundays. Um, I got a total of 593 stitches on Santa's flight stocking. And this is going to be my husband's stocking. <clears throat> this is not out of the cue snaps, but the little area that's worked on, you can see I don't need to have it out of the cue snaps. It is. Oh, I'm going to put something behind it because it's not showing up as good as it could be. So the last two weeks, pretty much what I did, um, if I have a before picture, I will put that up. I, I filled in more of the dark, the sky, which is different shades of dark blue. And then I converted Santa's um, hand from green to red, to where he has a red glove. So... Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't happy with the green glove, which was showing here. I don't know. I just think it just took away from the piece. And I wanted Santa to be all red and white, not to have some green gloves. To me, that was just kind of strange. So I converted it over and did the back stitch on it. So I'm hoping it looks fine. I like it. I definitely like it better than the, than the green. So... Anyway, that's Santa. He's waving at us now, so I've got the waving part done. This is just a kit, like I said, so it's a dimensions kit, so it's the kit floss and fabric. I'm just using everything that comes with it. It's working out just fine. I've got uh, tons of different kinds of, um, like, you know, half crosses, full crosses, four strands on a half cross, three strands, two strands, you know, all, all that sort of fun stuff, all the backstitching. And I've been backstitching as I go, so that's why I kind of filled around Santa's hand when I got done with it, so that I could do the backstitching in the hand. And I forgot, actually, I do have a little more backstitching down here that I really need to do, but I forgot about that. I think I put it away, so, and then realized when I pulled it out now that I need to do that, too. But probably the reason why I didn't is, well, it is filled in all the way around, I guess I can. That's kind of a gray color, so yeah, it's filled in all the way, so I can complete the back stitch on that. So this has been fun, just like the last stocking I did. Been enjoying it. So that's a dimensions kit. <coughs> I will be showing you another dimension kit in a bit, too. Okay, the next piece. Oh, I did 650 stitches. No wait. Okay, I'm 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 on the wrong I'm on the wrong piece right now. Excuse me. Let's start all over. I will skip that. I am on the next one on top of the pile is friendship sampler. This is a stitch I'm doing with a childhood friend of mine. We met in fourth grade, and. Uh, this is our second year of um, picking a piece at um, the Southern California Cross Stitch Retreat, and then we work on it during the year, and then we give it to each other finished um, the following September. So I have been working well on this. Um, I'm a little more than halfway done. This one probably got more stitches in it than anything else except for... Um, the birdhouses sell, which I did not mention the amount of stitches I got on that. Uh, 1,668 stitches to play catch up on, on the birdhouses. So, but this one has the next most amount of stitches, 907. I have it as part of one of my challenges. Yeah, one of my challenges that I do. So, that's why I've got quite a bit of stitches done on it. 
it's out of the Q-snaps. I usually have it in the Q-snaps, so now you can kind of see it, see what's been done on it. Uh, I started in the middle, actually, and then I just decided to work my way over to the left side. And then now I'm starting to finish up, you know, that side, and I'm going to work over to the right side. This is just um, a 32 count vintage country mocha linen. So as you can see, vintage country mocha even weave is a little bit lighter than vintage country mocha linen because of how they dye, the linens and the even weaves dye. It is um, two over two. I'm using the DMC floss that was just uh, uh, called for for it. It's turning out really nice, I think, real pretty. The sun maybe doesn't show up the exact perfectest but yeah, I think it's good enough, so. Especially when you look at it close up. And then I, uh, what I worked on this time, if I don't show a previous picture, is I worked on all of that lettering up top there and all the, and partial lettering down below from about, uh, at, I did good friends from um, a time previous. So the are always close is what I worked on and then uh, down below the flowers and the vine. So this one is coming along. Okay, the next will be for my full coverage fans who love full coverage. I did work on full coverage this last two weeks. Only one piece, and um, but... It's one that a lot of people enjoy. So I don't, I didn't write it down here, which for my uh, notes, but I'm pretty sure I remember every single thing I need to remember about this piece. There's been so much, I've done so much with it and I can open up my book to see how many stitches I did on it. So anyway, this is a lace maker. Um, okay, where are you? I have a picture of it for those of you who don't know what it looks like. It's much richer in person, as you could see. This is what it looks like when it's totally done. And uh, it's the artwork is by Miles Burkett Foster. It's an artisy cross stitch pattern. And let's see, I'm looking in my book here because I didn't write this down on my notes. I got a total of 1,004 stitches done on it this month. It is now 65.86% completed. And if, I, if the before picture isn't put in here, I will show you what I worked on. Right down here, this was not completed, so I worked on the border. And then I also filled in more up here and more in here. This is so confetti heavy, so I have to point out the stuff I filled in because otherwise it looks like the same from each time I show it, even though I did a thousand stitches on it. And I always go for a thousand stitches at least on this before I move on, even though I've been feeling a little like burned out on it. Um, I make myself do a thousand stitches on it. So um, at least there'll be 12,000 stitches done at the end of the year. So that's what got done. That little bit there, a little bit here filled in and then a little bit here filled in. So I'm kind of jumping around now on this. Um, I was working from the um, highest on work stitch, like uh, doing a typewriter method and working down. But now I'm switching around things. Um, now for sure, for the next little while, I mean, for the next big while, I my plan is, is to work from this door here over here and fill all this in and then just continue down to get the corner done and around um, completed before I go over on the other side. I know that'll work better for me if I do that because if I work over here, I'll be putting in the lace maker 
and the type of person I am, if once I get that lace maker in, I'm going to feel like not working on the rest of it, which is basically like, like a lot of gold and, you know, creams and stuff like that because it's kind of just some brickwork down at the bottom with a few with a couple cute kit kitties but I know that I will just go no I don't like this anymore I'm done with the lace maker so I'm forcing myself to work on this side only and there's enough stitches for um there's enough stitches in this of each color pretty much to um do that anyway without worrying about the colors over on this side so I've stopped this side for now. I'm working on this side only, on this side of the door over. And I will be filling in all the remaining um, stitches, typewriter method. And then when I get bored with that, then I'm going to look around and try to find something that has a few more stitches like in a group together so I can, you know, enjoy doing some block work stitching. There isn't too much left in this at all, but I'll search around and try to find it. <laughs> So anyway, that is my um, full coverage that I did this last two weeks. Um, just, I love this piece, even with the confetti. I love how it's taking shape. So it's not like, you know, I don't, I don't hate it or anything else. I just am grateful when I can move over to a, a full coverage where there's a little less confetti. So that is... Actually, I guess the dimensions kits are kind of full coverage, so I didn't just work on Lace Maker. I worked on two dimension kits, but... And that's where it comes to my last dimension kit. During the Easter, like dur during um, one day, I think it was Easter Sunday or the day before Easter Sunday, I worked on this piece, which I have not picked up since I started the Sunday stocking sales and started working on stockings, which has been a year and a half, two years. Um, this is called Lost No More. And I just, when I was sitting watching Ben-Hur on TV and also watching other, other um, things on TV for the Easter season, I picked this up and worked on this. I got 650 stitches on it. I'm using the kit floss. The kit fabric. It's also Dimensions Gold collection. I'm sure I don't have a previous picture of this because it was so long ago when I did it, but I can show you exactly what I did. I finally backstitched around his head, his face, the um, cape, the gown, I mean, you know, the his cape and his all his clothing there which really helps a lot. It really is popping out now. You can see his face. And then after that, I started working all this up here. It's like a green, getting that done. And maybe some of that too. So that's what I did. It's a pretty piece. Um, I think it's like a 16 count kind of a light brown color and using the floss that came with it. I'll show you the picture again of it so you can kind of see. I started in the middle. So this is what I've been working on right there. Not sure if it'll get picked up. Oops, dropped it. Not sure if it's going to get picked up again anytime soon, but I was happy to work on it for Easter and we'll definitely get picked up for that. So. I have one piece of, of kindness, stitchy kindness of, of a card um, that I just want to make mention. Um, one of the people who received my giveaway, one of my giveaways, um, sent me a card. And it was Marlene. And I appreciate this, Marlene. It's very, very nice of you to, to send me the card. Um, she received the Plum Street Sampler, A Thousand Hills. So, and she sent me some floss. So, thank you, Marlene, so much. Thank you for this card, and thank you for your warm comments. Okay, on to plans. Plans, plans, plans. So, I'm going to stop this video for a second. And, of course, I know all you guys, you don't know how long it actually takes me to stop anyway 
So, but I knew I had to pick up all of my plans items and put them on the table because I had so many whips that I couldn't, it was stacked way high. So um, I had to bring over the plans here separately. So, okay, my second whip go, I will be working on my second whip go draw for April. And that is a new start. This is for my husband. He's not here so I can talk as loud as I want. This, he loves chickens. This is a Riolis kit. I'm using all the kit floss and fabric. And um, it's a rooster. And I know nothing about what all these words mean. I should probably look it up and see if it says anything different about this rooster than being a rooster. <laughs> but I will be starting this um, in these next two weeks. Actually, I think I'm starting it tomorrow so I can get my Whipco call second one done because we're getting closer to when she's calling May. So I think I'll just pick it up and do it tomorrow in my plans. See how many stitches I can get into it. I'll also be working on in these next two weeks my wedding sampler and get more stitching done on that. This is where I'll be starting from. So that's, I'll be working on that. I'll be working on a lot of family pieces these next two weeks. Also be working, I'll be, I pick up, um, I'm gonna pick up again my Mirabilia for my um, granddaughter and put more stitches into that. I showed you that, my last floss tube. And um, this is very wrinkly, but um, as you can see, I filled in the bottom. So that's what I, as I like outlined the area that I have to fill in. So I'll just, I'm gonna start over at the left-hand side again and, and do some more filling on this piece in the next two weeks. I'll also be working on um, this one I can show, you know, this is all I've got, but I don't think anybody's going to be able to copy this off with how much, you know, I'm just going to show it fast. It's a, it's a stitch called, um, it's a hoop modern stitch. That's the designer and it's like a little flower sampler for uh, a newborn. And my niece um, had her baby. Um, she had it a week and a half ago, and she named her Avery. It's a little girl. So this is what I'm going to be doing for her, and I already started it. So the flowers, some of the flowers are done. I kind of color converted it to my own flower colors. So this is what I got, had done last time when I showed it. <clears throat> and actually, it kind of goes like this, actually. So yeah, it's going to go like this and curve around. So I'll be working on the next set of colors on this one. And then um, the final thing, well, I'll also be working on Maleficent. You all know Maleficent, but if you don't, uh, there's a certain amount of stitches I get done on her every month so that I can finish her in December. So Maleficent here, is, she will be worked on. Um, I need 1,388 stitches. I generally do a little more than that. So she will be worked on in these next two weeks plans. And as well as her, I will also be working on one of my montages, the spring one. So I'll be trying to get as many stitches as I can into this. And I have a picture of it. I'm working on spring now because we're in the spring season doing this with a few others who are also working on every montage and every season. This is the spring one by Pain Free Crafts, spring montage. And here is the little bit I've got done on it. I think I have 0.85, not quite 1% done. So of course I'm going to shoot for getting past that 1%. And um, probably I'll do, I'll try to fill in more blocks, I think, and get more filled in. I'm thinking that's what I'll do. So, yeah, I have a lot planned, so we'll see how I do. Um, I need two to three days to do Maleficent's requisite stitches, so that's going to take up maybe three of my days. 
I want two or three days on spring montage also. So that already is taking up almost a week of my two weeks, and then I want to fit in the other ones. So we shall see how I do before the end of the month. Probably will not, I mean, I'm, I'm working towards a goal of trying to get something done on each one of these. But because of the full coverage and wanting to get the amount done that I need to get done, um, the other three may not have too many stitches in them, maybe only one day's worth of stitches, maybe two to fill in the last two weeks. So, and my plan is to come back in, I think, let me see, it's the 16th now. I hope to come back if I can, like near the end of the month and give you my Stitch Mania plans and show you what I'll be working on for Stitch Mania. Some of it will be previous stitches. I do have a few Stitch Mania pieces that are not done that I've had going for years. So I will be showing those on their respective days that I started doing them on previous Stitch Manias years. And then I'll also show you what I've put in into the other years, uh, into the other spaces for um, working on. And I'll explain that all when I do the little mini Stitch Mania video. So that's all for now. And, uh, oh wait, no it is not all for now. I have um, lace to show you. So in just a minute and I will go show you. Okay, I've also been not only working on stitching, I have been working on my lace. The last uh, floss tube that I did, I showed this piece that I was starting to work on. This is what I've been concentrating on the last two weeks. So I did not work on the other two pieces that I showed you. This is a torsion sampler that when done will be this big. So I work on it and then down to the bottom and then I turn around and go back up and then I turn around and go back down again to finish it. When I started this a couple weeks ago, I only had just, just this little bit done here. So as you can see, I've worked down it quite a bit. This is a pretty fast, um, when I say fast stitch, I guess fast lacing stitch. So anyway, that's, you can see the kind of different stitches within the framed darker thread. Like this stitch looks a little different than that stitch and that stitch. And then down here, it's kind of hard to see in the pins, but that's even a different looking stitch. You can kind of see it in there that I'm working on. So anyway, that was my lace, lace accomplishment the last two weeks, everybody. I didn't want to forget my lace because I get, got quite a bit done on it, so didn't want to forget that. Okay, so the last, of course, is my um, daily gratitude quote before I, before I say goodbye. So this time um, I'm doing this particular quote. It says, let us be grateful to the people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. Thought this was a good one because a lot of us are getting excited now about gardening, those of us who enjoy gardening. Uh, so those um, souls that help us with gardening, I mean, who make us happy, they're like the gardeners of our soul. So I thought this was really cute. I've been getting out in the dirt a little bit myself, so been excited about it and been having fun. So anyway, you guys remember to find the beauty in every day. It's out there. And I hope you all have a great, great, um, you know, hopefully two weeks before I get back to you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a daily vlog for Stitch Mania. The reason why I'm not sure about it is because I know I'm going to be gone for Part of the time as well as I'm doing another lace class with a teacher who's coming from California so it's going to be very difficult for me to find you know just a few minutes to do the beginning and end of it and I may not get a whole lot done on some of those pieces because of my lace class so I think I'm going to keep it keep it to just my two weeks or whatever hopefully I, whatever I can get to when I do a, uh, a video so anyway 
sorry about the jumping around and that I'm not always consistent. But I appreciate those of you who follow me, um, who put a like, who subscribe. Thanks so much, you guys. Uh, it's just very, very humbling and very gratifying, uh, the people that, you know, make... So many people are so, so loving and so caring, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. So anyway, with that, I'll say, you know, so long for now, and hopefully I'll see you in about a week and a half or so to show you my Stitch Mania plans. So bye-bye, everybody.